guys. Uh, thanks for joining me for another video. I'm feeling kind of under the weather, so my voice is kind of weird. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I might have to clear my throat uh, a couple of times, so excuse that. Uh, I wanted to make a video regarding autopilot and how how the um, the the nagging feature actually works and how the warnings and the three strikes work so um, right now what I could do is I can actually create create the <clears throat> what you call it the, the nagging feature on demand and I figured out a way to do it and um, that is not an actual strike okay so when it tells you to hold your hands and it starts flashing lights and all that stuff it is not counted as a strike so there's a three strike rule as part of version 8 and it's only when you hear the audible uh, alert so what I could do is try again to get this there it goes and so now it's nagging me right so what's gonna happen is it's going to beep once and that's my first warning okay so flash 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 there goes my first warning <coughs> And what I could do is, you've already seen uh, one uh, nagging, and um, I'm gonna do a couple more. There goes one more nagging. And I'm gonna wait until the lights start flashing, okay? So, lights flash, blah blah blah. It can speed up also. It's not gonna do the, the, the warning. The warning tone is the one that says that you have a strike against you. So, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll create a, a couple more. Slow down a little bit. And then let's generate. There it goes again. So now it's warning me again. And this is, I think, the third warning besides the one strike that I intentionally created. So I intentionally created that one strike just to let you know how, how the strikes look like. Right? And uh, it doesn't really matter if I cancel autopilot uh, right now, it will not erase the strike. So I have one strike and uh, three warnings, right? So let me, let me generate another warning so that you guys can see. There goes another warning, right? So this is going to be my uh, fourth warning. And then let's go for another one. So that's already f my fourth warning, and I still have autopilot working. And I'll show you what the message is, you know, how it looks like. There goes another warning, and uh, flashing, 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 blah, 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 right? And uh, <coughs> there's some police activity in front, so I go into this lane. So I think that's the fifth warning I got. Still, I have autopilot working, right? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to show you more warnings look more warnings more warnings I think this is the sixth warning I generated okay I, I clear that no audible strike okay and then here we go with the next warning go so that it'll give me the audible uh, strike and that'll be strike number two so I'll clear that and um, it goes another warning I'll, I'll get rid of that I think that was number seven or eight. I have a counter uh, in my post. Uh, I'll, I'll show. So now I have two strikes and uh, one, one. Uh, uh, oh, so, so two strikes and I think seven uh, warnings. Here goes another warning, and then I got rid of that. I think that's like up to eight or nine. I can't remember, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep a counter. 
for it, okay? I'll try to generate some more for you. And then in the end, I'll generate the... I'll generate the... Um, I'll generate the last warning, okay? know that um, when you get your third strike um, what happens is it turns off uh, acceleration and I'll give you a message so I'm gonna show you what happens now my third strike Be my third strike, and uh, I'm gonna get a lot of beeping noise. Then I'll continue to steer for me. I'll lower it in post, okay? As you can see, uh, the auto steer message unavailable for the rest of the trip, but uh, actually, auto steer is still working. What they took away is the auto accelerator function or the modulation function. But they also took away a, um, a key feature, which is the auto lane change. If I turn to the right, it's not going to do anything. As well as when I activate uh, the left turn signal, it's not going to change the left uh, lane either, as you can see. So as you can see, I am uh, modulating the accelerator and I have no hands on the steering wheel and uh, I'm just applying um, acceleration if I were to take my um, foot off of the accelerator it would uh, come to a stop um, on the middle of the road which is not uh, um, not safe at all but uh, right now it, um, j as you can see it's uh, steering perfectly and if you look at the console, uh, auto steer is still available, uh, meaning it's still lit up. But uh, what's happening is um, it's not doing any of the acceleration functions. So I'm actually doing that. I don't know how many times I got repeated, but uh, it needs to be hammered in. So as you can see, auto steer is still working. And uh, we're going to take this turn. My hands are off. I'm not steering at all no uh, steering input uh, what I'll have to do to reset it is to uh, pull over and uh, put it into park as soon as I put it into park and then I uh, put it into drive again autopilot will be available again so as you can see we've been driving like this for about uh, the last two minutes but uh, if you can hear what it sounds like you wouldn't want to be driving like this so it forces you to actually submit and turn it off like I'm doing now so I disengaged it and now when I try to re-engage that's the error message okay so in order to get it back all you need to do is put the car in park which I'll show you let me just get out here in the medium Put the car in park. Now put it in drive. And there goes 
my autopilot. So anyway, I hope this has been educational. And for those who are uh, arguing with me on how autopilot works and the three strikes, go fuck yourself. Because uh, you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And uh, yeah, I hope this uh, helps you understand it. And uh, 